Hey guys, um, it's me, Kenneth. I, I can't hold it anymore. I can't hold it anymore. I want to tell you all about a dream I had in October. No, it was, it was in November, actually. It was in November or December. And I just felt it now. The Lord told me, you won't see 2025. So guys, I wanted to say it in October. I knew that the rapture would not happen in 2023. I, I knew that. Um, the Spirit was still here in 2023, but the Spirit is not going to be here. The cutoff point, the cutoff point is 2024. Next year, 2024, we will be raptured. I can't hold it anymore. They are planning some big things in 2024 and um, it's going to affect many people but this is it 2024 is the year of the rapture this is it It's a glorious time for the believers, the born-again believers. Um, but it's not a glorious time for those who believe in their self-righteousness. It's coming. The rapture's coming in 2024. Um... I want to say that um, people, if, if there's a family member, if there's someone who doesn't believe, tell them. Tell them. But if they don't believe, if they don't believe, if they choose not to believe, it is not your fault. Even if they, even if you don't tell them, there's some, there is something, someone is going to tell them something. But I'm saying, it, I'm saying, if you really, you really love that person, and you want to share their your faith with them, share their your faith with them by you believing on the Son of God. In his death, burial, and resurrection. Putting your full trust in him. If you want to share your faith with them. Because the time is coming to a close. 2024 is the year. And the time is coming to a close. I have tried so much to reach out to people. I even tried today, but they refuse to believe. And, um, It's going to be very sad for them. Many of them will be left behind. Only those who believe in the true gospel of Jesus Christ are rapture ready. The Bible says those who are in Christ Those who are in Christ, those who belong to him. 
and they don't work, if they don't work, then God's going to take them home. He took my Uncle Richard home. He took my Uncle Richard home because he chose not to go with what God wanted him to do. He took him home early. You cannot lose your salvation, even if you don't work. If you are in him, you are always saved and sealed for the day of redemption. You cannot lose it. You cannot lose your salvation. If someone chose not to work in the past, and God said, okay, you're coming home. And since you're coming home, someone else is going to take your place. Someone else is going to take your place because I told you to do something and you didn't do it. Now you're coming home and someone else is going to take your place. My Uncle Richard, even though he, God took him on home, he's still praying for people in heaven. He's still doing what God wants him to do. And of course, he's having a good time. But I'm telling you this right now. It's not by works that we are saved. It's only through Jesus Christ. It's not by any of our works. I was going to wait to do this video. And on the first... I'm kind of sad right now that many people refuse to believe. And I felt the Holy Spirit real heavy. Because this upcoming year is it. It's it, guys. This upcoming year it's the time where the angels will come down and take us home with Jesus. This is it, guys. People are going to see people are going to see things that they've never witnessed before. People are going to see something that it's going to be such a distraction also. The things that are coming in 2024 are also going to be distracted. When everyone is going on about their day in 2024, which that day will happen. A certain day, everyone's just going to be going on about their day. And then the rapture is suddenly going to happen. And there's going to be people saying, you're coming now, Lord? Some will say, this is too early. He's going to take all the children home. God is going to take all the children home. The things that, the things that are you know, that these children are learning these days. It's just awful. But God's going to come, come and take them on home. I just, um, I don't know what to say. I know I'm excited. I am excited that we're going home. But you know, I'm around and messaging all these people who are choosing not to believe. It's very heartbreaking. Anyways, this is it. This is it. I 
love you guys. I know God loves you. I know there are you. There are you who believe in the true gospel of Jesus Christ. Indeed, he is your father. These things are coming, guys. And they're coming. And people are not going to be expecting it. Anyways, I love you guys. I'll see y'all later. Good night.